Hello, it's Melinda. I want to apologize right off the bat that my voiceover for this part, I talked live, got corrupted. So my hand motions will not match my voice here. This is for the Facebook stash video hop. And this month we are doing a challenge where we have to use three things, bling, doilies, and paint. Now the page you're looking at right here is one that I have done previously and it was with mermaid markers. And when I was doing this layout, I did other backgrounds to try out some other products. So that's what I'm going to use today. And when I move this out of the way, you will see that this one I created using Ken Oliver Color Bursts. And I didn't use it for the other one because it wasn't wide enough, but I still loved it, so I saved it. It's not on watercolor paper, and I think this will be perfect to use on this layout today, and it will stand for the paint. Um, I think I'm telling you I'm going to put you on fast forward soon, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to use it this way because my I'm going to use photo strips from my daughter's prom. And they are three of the same exact ones, but two of them, the printer errored out there, so it has a blank copy, so they each got two of each. So we're going to use them as a layer. Going to layer them something like that. And I think this has a natural little spot there where the color kind of bends, so I need to, I'm going to put it there. And I got some doilies. I'm not sure what color I'm going to use. And some random sequins I'm going to use for the bling. Um, various manufacturers, just like a little color stash that from projects I didn't use before. So I'm going to stick you on fast forward and you can watch what happens. Thank you for watching. I'm going to start out by laying the photos. And I know I want to put tissue paper behind them so it's like not a lot of layers that take up a lot of visual space but more like soft fluffy layers and this time i'm not going to wrinkle uh, like like i normally do and put a lot behind it and just wrinkle it up but i'm going to wrinkle each of these layers up and they're all individual and they're just a little bit longer than the strips of photo strips and i'm just going to stack them up like that so it's a nice tall stack of them I'm going to get them how I like them, and eventually I'm going to staple them. Just want enough coming around. I'm debating on how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to staple these twice, just so they're all stay together. And I think that's a lot of black. I'm going to need black someplace else. And I try that there and move it down. Hmm. I don't know. It's... Just not working for me so i'm going to try i'm going to fold the big white one in half and stick it under just so the fluffy edges stick out it was still too straight not wrinkled enough so wrinkled it again nix the black one don't need that and at this point i think i'm going to nix the gold these are die cuts from my favorite things they're called scribbles and I've had them since I bought the die cut just sitting on my desk in black. And I thought, I need to add more black because the photos are so dark. And I go down this path for quite some time. I even glue all these down until I realize I really don't like them where they are. But I keep going along this path. I'm going to show you what the die cuts look like. My idea is to put the sprinkles in the center, the sprinkles, the sequins in the center, sort of like the center of a flower is my thought process, in kind of like the rainbow colors and that are in the paper already. You know, I, I don't love it, but I keep going forward thinking at some point this is going to change and I'm going to, I'm going to, it's going to work out. I'm going to get out some letter stickers. I'm thinking I want to bring gold into it. Their accents were uh, black and gold for their prom outfits. But I'm realizing that 
I don't have anything small enough in gold, so I go in my black stash. I'm going to write out my title so I don't forget anything, and it's called the title ends up being the start of something special. And the word special I want to be in the scripty font. If I can get it all figured out. I'm going to put some wax paper underneath it so it doesn't stick. These are leather stickers that I just got from Walmart. And I think I do have them in gold. But this is a black shiny script. I'm just putting them on my ruler so that later on I can stick them down and pull them off. Now I'm going to attempt this very quickly to put other words in this font, this thicker, but I realized right off the bat they are too big. I should have realized that before I stuck them on the wax paper. So I take them back off and put them back on their backing and nix that. So now I got to find another font and I'm going to go with tile letter stickers and I thought briefly about going with black but I thought it was going to be too too much black in one area. See that I got so much black in the photos. So I go with the white. Um, these are Teresa Collins and I sped this up quite a bit because this is kind of boring. So those ones are the tile stickers and they say the start of something and I just make them go up and down, overlap them, bump them up and down, kind of messy like. I would love if the something was not, could nestle in between the S and the L and it does. So that's perfect. So I'm going to set that aside. It's going to go about there. So I know that's so all set it aside and I got to deal with these. The whole time I was doing that, I was thinking, do I do I just go with this? I'm sort of conversing with Eileen from Scrap Amazing, chatting with her via Facebook, and I'm kind of explaining to her what I was doing, and it doesn't hurt to try, I suppose. I got to, I'm going to bump each layer of this up with some fun foam just to give it some more dimension. I probably could have got away with doing that too, just two layers, but I like that the fact that the three photo strips have space between them, it adds some interest. Sequins gets everywhere. It's almost as bad as glitter. And my ATG gun does not like that foam, fun foam. And I put it together and I realized by off-setting it that it's kind of a little tippy, I guess for a better word, on this one side. So I go get more fun foam and stick underneath there so it lays flat. I'm going to just do some adjusting of these layers. The tissue paper has a gold sparkle on it. So I noticed those actually kind of fell off here and there. So I have sparkle a little bit everywhere. Now, at first I think I can use a big glue dot for this. And this one I do use a glue dot for. But they're not that easy and it rips the paper when I try to peel it off. So I'm going to plug the glue gun in. My plan is to put a pile of hot glue on top of the scribbles and then just drop the sequins in it and that's how I'm going to do it. I don't like it. <laughs> just looking at it now as I'm doing it, I don't know why I, I didn't stop. But I thought the sequins was going to change it. It just ended up being too messy around the photo is my process, is my thought process. I'm trying to put a little bit of every color in the sequins clusters. The hot glue's not ready quite yet, so I'm going to mess with this. 
and I'm as of right now I'm not liking it I think okay I need to tuck these down lower so I can't see all of it but I don't keep it that way and I just drop the sequence in sorry about my head I get smarter as I go and drop the pick up the sequence first before I do the hot glue I'm only keeping this in so I can show you the whole process like I said I don't end up liking that I had to flatten it down a little bit with the spatula there I go I have it in my hand now and I dump it on just like a little pile of hot glue dump it on make sure all the glue is kind of covered up I can't tell you exactly why it is that it these bother me so much when I get them done I don't know if it is truly the, just the, all the black around the photo or the fact that they're scribbly and look messy and everything else in the layout kind of has straight lines right there by the photos I couldn't tell you but at this point I'm down to the last one I'm gonna put it on and this is hot glue so I'm thinking this is pretty permanent need to add another color so I'll drop it on I'm gonna put the title on Now the S seems a little bit hard to read on the dark blue. It's almost purplish area right there. But I think you can still make the word out enough in real in real life to know what it says. Checking to make sure nothing falls off. Make sure all the sequins are actually glued down and I glue that one more. <laughs> I'll regret that. I'm going to take a break here after I I take it up and show my daughters what I do getting all the extra glue strands off first I'm going to sprinkle I guess forgot about that this is plain Jane baseboard in coal and I also do Heidi swap color shine in gold I'm going to sop those up a little bit so they're not wet. I was thinking that the sprinkles might help. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not liking this at all. I think maybe I need to add uh, another doily. So I peel up that section and I shove this doily underneath of it. I like the other doily in there. I like it a lot still doesn't change the fact that I don't like the scribbles yep this is where I okay I talked to my daughter I've talked to Eileen and she says she likes it but I don't so we are going to rip these off and it did damage the paper and tore the tissue paper but I can fix that and then I think if I just cluster them all down here maybe I'll like it so I'd play with that for a bit. Now with those gone, I can really tuck this in where the way I like it and make it work. I need some more tissue paper to cover up the ripped sections and the ripped corners that I did. Tissue paper is pretty forgiving. Just put more layers in and you can't see what happened. That one's a little, a little scary there sticking out, but it'll work. Now the one by the top of the S does stay. It's at this point that I see that I have these frames here, and I just want to try them out. I grabbed the first, the black and white stripe. I'm not sure why I, I'm so obsessed with putting black on this layout, but I end up saying no to that and going with the gold sparkle. 
still trying the black and white by the title. I think the title needs to, to be emphasized a little bit more. And I think putting a frame around it will do just that. I have to peel those up just a tack to slide it under. But the black and white one I don't love. I gotta pry that part up. Now that ripped the page, but you won't be able to tell because it'll glue it back down later. So no more black and white. This is when I rip that one. And just put the three of them right there in a row. I've got to fix this. This is still just not sticking properly. I think I'm going to say I'm going to get more frames. I didn't have a smaller size in the gold sparkle. So I went with more of a gold shiny polka dot. So that's basically how those three frames are going to sit. I attempt to do a third one. That's still too big. So I'm looking for a smaller one. I tried this one. That one's too small. I've snapped a picture for Eileen so I can show her and she likes the frames. So I like the frames. So we're going to go with the frames. I've got to fix that. I staple it. It's just moving around too much. Now I'm going to hang that one kind of off the top. And I'm going to put this one a little crooked so that it doesn't go over the letters. Tack that one back down. I'm debating, do I cut it? And I say, yeah, I cut it. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on there and tack it down. Now I'm trying to figure out how I can add more, more of a sparkle frame to it. I keep going to that, thinking maybe if I put another one underneath there. I don't like that. That's just too much at the top. So I almost nix it. I have these Tim Holtz letter strips or word strips. And they say, trust your heart, come what may. I'm going to use that as my journaling. These are photos of my daughter and her date, her boyfriend. And I don't know what they would want to say about this or journal about this. And so this is not my memory, which is why I'm kind of keeping it a little bit generic. I struggle with scrapping events like this that I'm not part of, but you know, I don't know what they were really feeling during this prom and these pictures, and I'm sure they were having fun. So a, a generic words of maybe wisdom to her, you know, trust your heart, come what may, plain and simple. So that's how I scrap these type, type of photos of someone else's event. Now I'm thinking I need to put one there and slide inside in between the big one or the small one. I'm going to go with the big one. I'm not sure why I showed you that real quick, but I did. I'm going to commit again with the hot glue. I'm going to cut the frame off the edge. Now I'm, I like to use the cutoff parts on this layout, on the layout Currently, it kind of spreads the gold around. And it's going to stay right there. I like that. Just a little bit of glue, tack it down. Just kind of picking the glue bits off. I'm going to sprinkle some more black coal while I think on it. I tend to sprinkle while I'm thinking. It keeps me busy. I'm going to sop up just the little bits of extra with the paper towel. I'm going to add the cutoff of the sparkle frame around the black scribble there, right about there. And with that, 
the layout is done. I'm going to show you some live close-ups of all the little bits and pieces. I'd say not bad for having torn it apart almost all. I do end up ripping that bottom piece right there under the prom because the tissue paper has got a little cut out on it. I do end up ripping it. With that, I say bye to you. Check the description box below for the links to all the other ladies participating in this stash hop. These are some close-ups of all the little parts and pieces. I want to thank you again for watching. And if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next month with this same challenge with the same group of ladies. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.